All right, so tonight the Warriors dominated the Nuggets for the second time in a row, um, beating them 118 to 97. And obviously, this is a different Nuggets team than we saw last time, primarily because they don't have Jamal Murray as he suffered a pretty painful injury. But Warriors nonetheless played good. Stephen Curry bounced back significantly, like, you know, played pretty bad last game against a mediocre team and against a really good team, the Nuggets. He scored 32, which was great. And he got a little shaken up. I believe he went to the locker room early in the game with a little bit of an injury. Um, and, I mean, this game was really close at the beginning, uh, kind of back and forth. It was also the first Warriors game back with fans. So maybe that, that helped them win. Who knows? But Kelly Oubre actually played really good for the second night in a row. He's starting to pick up um, some steam. I mean, obviously, he struggled a lot. He's been inconsistent pretty much the whole year. So I hope this success isn't short-term. I hope this, like, success he's found these past couple of games is you know, will live on. Um, Wiggins played good. And something interesting is Mark Mulder was in the lineup tonight instead of Kelly Oubre. So um, despite not being in the starting lineup, Kelly Oubre still put up 23 points and got a lot of minutes. Mulder had 14 and he's not really been in the lineup that much, but he's a decent player. Not, not amazing, but he's great. He's all right. Um, but yeah, the Warriors, you know, they took leads early in the game, but the Nuggets were, I felt like whenever the Warriors made a shot, the Nuggets would respond. I mean, these te two teams are really good, um, like when they play each other. Um, in terms of record, obviously the Nuggets are a lot better, but when I feel, when, when the Warriors play the Nuggets, I feel like it's an equal matchup because the, the game is always back and forth, but the Warriors usually come ahead and beat them as seen with these last couple of games. Curry was guarded by Compazzo mostly, and Compazzo as most people know is a pretty pesty defender and I feel like that kind of motivated Curry to score a lot of points because you know Curry looked angry and he just wanted he was on a mission he, he scored a lot of points um obviously with 32 and he was you know I believe had some sort of knee injury or something like that went to the so uh, to the locker room he's had a little bit of a couple injuries this year and it you know it's not something you want to see but um I'm glad that he was able to help us win um, and like I said, first game with fans back, I'm going to, I'm going to try to go to a game soon. Um, I believe you have to be vaccinated. So I'm going to get my vaccine and go hopefully. Um, but Warriors played good. I, I, you know, I really hope they can keep this up. Draymond only had two points, but 19 assists for Draymond. Like that's crazy. And 12 rebounds. That's a nice double, double, um, with Draymond scoring, isn't a priority, which is, I kind of admire because most guys are just out for themselves kind of shooting, but Draymond's just like, yeah, I'm going to pass and get 19 assists. Um, Standings-wise, it's getting interesting now because the Warriors and Spurs, I believe, are both at 500. The Warriors technically have more wins because they've played more games, but we're right behind the Grizzlies. We're 0 0.017 percentage points behind them and, you know, one game behind them technically. So we could very well pass up the Grizzlies and get in that eighth seed. Um, and I mean, this is going to be an interesting postseason because, you know, teams like the Lakers have been injured lately. Um, we've beaten the Jazz before. I mean, if the Warriors make the playoffs, I'm not saying they're going to get far, but they could get far very, like, I'm not going to count them out because I think, you know, the way they've been playing lately has been pretty good aside from a couple games, such as the Wizards game. Uh, but yeah, for the Nuggets, Jokic had 19. Their leading scorer was Porter Jr. Had uh, Michael Porter Jr. had 26. Aaron Gordon uh, was the third leading scorer with 17. Um, so they had those three leading scores. I feel like the Warriors had more of a collective effort, um, honestly. But you know, good to see out there. Um, you know, the Warriors. These games are really important right now. We're kind of coming down to the wire. We were just still a decent amount of games left. But you know, I think. The Warriors, if they want to make a playoff push, which is definitely, I feel like, going to happen. Um, but, yeah, I, I think this Curry injury, though, was pretty scary uh, to just looking at it. But it, I'm very, very glad he, it wasn't anything too major. Um, so, yeah, final score, 118-97. to 97. In terms of our schedule, the next game will be against Sacramento. And they, they blew us out of the water last game, um, destroyed us. But... I have confidence we can beat them. I, that was the lowest point of our season when we were just losing every game. But the way we've been playing, I think we could win. Sacramento, I, I don't think they'll have De'Aaron Fox. I think he has some sort of injury or something like that here, some sort of protocol. But yeah, Warriors win tonight, moving them up to 30 and 30. So just an equal, nice, aesthetically pleasing record right there. Um, but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. 60th game of the year. And yeah, let's go Warriors.